Professor Chiarenza, very nice to have you here. Yes. So that you um, t take the long way from Milano to Munich and uh, taking part of our in our community. So can you tell a little bit about your background and the research what you're doing? Yes. I say that um, it's always a pleasure to be here with you to attend uh, the workshop on neurofeedback. Uh, uh, so very well organized. And I am Giuseppe Chiarenza, I am a psychiatrist for children and adolescents and my research field, the last study that I have done, was to investigate the QEG characteristics of children with ADHD. ADHD. Uh, children, the EG characteristics of responders and non-responders to Stratera treatment. Stratera is a relatively new drug that is used for uh, the ADHD syndrome. So, um, why we uh, decided to investigate the EG characteristics, the QEG characteristics, because these are objective tools that we can effectively demonstrate to the parents if the drug has an effect or not and if there is a reason to continue or discontinue the treatment. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we uh, developed in this way uh, a method called neuro neuropedagogic method mm -hmm. because the most uh, one of the frequent complaints of the parents uh, and in, uh, for the treatment of the DHD uh, is the fact that the doctors they do not use uh, uh, objective methods to mm -hmm. evaluate, to diagnose a DHD. Why not objective best methods? Ah, because, uh, why not? I mean, <laughs> the, the, the method is uh, based on on, on, on uh, watching and, and, and observation? Yes, together, and together with the clinical observations and, uh, and uh, because at, at the moment uh, the, the diagnosis is only clinical, mm -hmm. with clinical observation, then mm -hmm. it's very rare that uh, uh, the ADHD centers, they use uh, uh, objective methods mm -hmm. and What's also an objective method the us? methods mm -hmm. that we use are mainly the integration of a different uh, domain mm -hmm. uh, all neurological examination mm -hmm. then uh, the clinical observation the corners you know, the behavioral scales like corners or CBCL and then the neuropsychological domain and we study all type of attentions mm -hmm. and, uh, and together with the assessment of intelligence and then another domain is the neurophysiological level. Mm -hmm. By combining all these responses then we can have a complete clinical picture of the child and uh, we know that uh, uh, there are the children with the ADHD have typical QEG characteristics. This is fant a fantastic uh, yes. information for many many uh, pediatricians. Yes. Can you shed a light on on this uh, on, on this clinical point? Like, how important is that the EEG? It's for important. The it's in, yes, it is important because depending on the QEG characteristics, we can predict the responder, if they are responder or no responder, to a specific treatment. So, so there, there is no, there's no trial, try, try and error, so no. you just have to then you find And the right we can prediction. tell which percentage mm -hmm. uh, the probability of a subject can respond, can have a good effect, can respond positively to a treatment. So this is... Uh, a uh, very, very strong tool and, uh, uh, and the QEG characteristics are also used uh, to discriminate between mm -hmm. children with a DHD and with, they, with other children that do not have a DHD because of these specific characteristics. 
have been also described the different neurophysiological subtype of ADHD. And according to this subtype, you can predict, as I said, no, if there is a response or no to the one treatment, like methylphenidate or atomoxetine. So, when, uh, when this is already possible that we have such a tool, so why is it not used in general practice in... Uh, the, the idea uh, is not... To, because uh, it needs a, a combination of a different experti expertise. Mm -hmm. So you have to know the EEG so, and the QEG and to have... A, a, you must know how to interpret the QEG. You mm -hmm. have to know to uh, knowledge about the physiopathology of the central nervous system. So it's a, a long way before uh, you become confident uh, mm -hmm. of this tool. Mm -hmm. And uh, so in the, in the clinical work, it's not, uh, sometimes it's not uh, uh, easy and doctors do, do not have so much time for, to spend in such a kind of uh, application. Or maybe they don't know <laughs> about it. <laughs> Possible. P Possible, I don't know. Okay, good. Uh, thank you very much for this, uh, for this uh, nice uh, uh, points you, you, you bring up. But uh, let me ask you one last question. Uh, do you think that neurofeedback is a... Uh, no, I would like to ask you the other question. How do you think does neurofeedback fit into the medical practice of the pediatricians or in the psychology? Oh, yeah. Or in, in, in the I think that the neurofeedback is a, a very important tool you no know, intermanentarium of the uh, psychiatrist uh, for mainly for two reasons mm -hmm. uh, there are there are people that uh, uh, are not responsive to treatment mm -hmm. and, uh, and the other people they do not want to use drugs there is a resistance no, against uh, uh, using drugs uh, in children. So uh, this is a, can be a, a very big opportunity because you, with the neurofeedback, can uh, modify the circuitries of the EEG and, and then the, the behavior of the children uh, without using uh, drugs. So that's, uh, I think, uh, most fruitful and uh, for the future also, I think is one of the most uh, important tools for treatment at the age of Thank you very much. So, do you think the future is uh, going into more neurofeedback and neurofeedback applications for different kind of disorders? Not only uh, I think uh, that uh, uh, with the deepening insight of the knowledge of this uh, ADHD syndrome, but it's uh, general with all other diseases, knowing more uh, about the physiology, the pathophysiology of the diseases, thanks also to the QEG, and uh, uh, we can uh, be more precise uh, and uh, we can uh, set uh, a specific treatment according to the characteristic of the AG and this is uh, possible with the neurofeedback. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.